What up, everybody? February 3rd, 2019 at noon. And I wanted to show you guys what the town looks like after yesterday. It's 34 degrees. Um, the Snow Summit spare parking lot right now looked absolutely packed. Um, yeah, it appears town's pretty busy. Let's see. Looking forward to the next part of the system. Hopefully we get a good amount of snow. Because we hardly got crap. At my house, I checked and it was like two inches maybe. It wasn't much. It looks nice, but it wasn't much. Well, I'm gonna stop it right now. Or actually, until we get going a little bit. Uh, I guess we're going. Okay, so, and we're getting a little drizzle right now. Unfortunately, it's a, a rain drizzle. That's 34 degrees. Voice command. Say a command. Recently found. Select an entry. Down. 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 Four. Would you like to begin navigation? Yes. Yes. In one half mile. Turn left on Stanfield cut off. Sounds good. In one quarter mile, turn Dude, left on Stanfield cut man. off. Seriously, this is going to be like a North Shore type of day to be driving for everything today. Because you got a bunch of indecisive people out here right now. Should I go left? Should I go right? Should I go straight? Should I go rip? Oh my gosh, dude. This is such a bummer. I don't know if you guys want to deal with, with traffic, so uh, when we stop at this light, I'm going to turn it off. And I'll, I'll, I'll turn it back on in a moment. <laughs> All right, guys, hopefully we make this light. So when I started the car this morning, I was hearing a weird sound coming from the car, and it started really worrying me. And it turns out that it was just the... In one half um, mile. Turn right the connection to my iPod. 38. Thank goodness, because it sounded like something wrong with the engine, but it was coming through the speakers really weird. Really freaking weird. Let me get the phone off of here so you, can, you guys can see Stanfield cut off and whatnot. Here's Baldwin side. Yeah, there's the lake, you guys. Hey 
Anyway, it's so cold outside. I'm closing my window or windows. at the stop sign. I don't see anybody trying to make a right. You know, so we're gonna, just gonna be like, see ya. <laughs> I mean, I don't see anybody trying to make a right here. This guy's making a left and he's blocking the whole, whole lane. Awesome guys. Hope I didn't cut anybody off who was trying to make a right turn because uh, I don't, you know, I don't want to. I'm not trying to do that, but I looked for a long time. I didn't see anybody trying to make a right turn, so I said, "Fudge it, I'm going around." Okay, we're on North Shore. Uh, the further we go this way, the less snow you're gonna see. And then in just a moment, I'm going to have to shut it off again for uh, customer privacy. But I will turn it back on. And then when I get home, I'll respond to the messages that I got while I was sleeping overnight. I didn't get up till noon today because that's when my business opens at noon and I have my phone on Do Not Disturb. So weekends, I take calls till whenever, whenever people call. And, and last night, I actually got a call at 3.30 in the morning for a delivery. Can you believe it? So... That's why I slept till till a freaking noon because I, I got home at about 4, 4.20, the perfect time, and uh, smoked fatty and went to bed. And I have a hard time sleeping, so I'm always waking up. And Sundays I look forward to so much because it's the day I get to sleep in. Um, and most of the time I'll wake up earlier, way earlier, and then I won't let myself sleep in because I'll notice I have missed calls from the phone being on on do not disturb and my customer service is so top-notch like like I don't let that happen like uh, I try to take care of my my people right away like I put myself second always and sometimes I've got to take care of me but anyway so look as we get out to Baldwin area you can see that it's uh, almost clear skies just beyond the clouds a little bit that you can see up here and uh, in about a half mile I'm gonna shut you guys down for a moment And then look, the further we go this way, as I said, you're gonna get less snow and you can already tell. If you look on the left side, uh, dry patches everywhere. Look on the right, there's a bunch of dry patches. And I wouldn't be surprised if we went to Baldwin, which I don't think we have time for right now, but I might give it a shot. I'm not gonna do the whole video to Baldwin, but I might give it a shot. Um, yeah. Anyway, I gotta shut it off right now. I got, I'm going to customers. I'll talk to you in a minute. All right, guys. So we're heading out to Baldwin real quick because I want you guys to see how real this snow rule really is. And then just how almost clear it is out here. Look at this. Always like this, guys. We'll be stormy on the other side of town. And once it hits this dry, dry air right here, right above the mountain range right here, then uh, the storms freaking dissipate because they've already dumped most of their moisture a lot of times at the front part of the range. So, yeah, how pretty is that, you guys? Man, that is just beautiful. When there is so much snow, it's even way prettier. Sweet, okay. So, yeah. Then you look over here and just look at that. That is amazing. Just amazing. It's 37 degrees over here. All right. What a beautiful blue sky today, man. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. We get such beautiful blue skies up here. And such, okay, this guy's got chains on. 
That's why he's going 35 miles an hour. He's got chains on. I mean, I appreciate you're trying to be careful, but you got no reason for the chains. But, as I said, I appreciate people being safe. It's, uh, it's the most important thing, man. We don't want you to get hurt up here. We want you to come back and have fun. But once we get on the straightaway up here, I'm going to have to pass, dude. I wish I had my other Mercedes, my 500 Mercedes. Back in 2003, I bought a brand new 2004 ML 500. I was 23 years old, killing it in the real estate industry down the hill. Bought myself a 500 Mercedes. Can you believe that? I spent a thousand, uh, nine hundred eighty-nine dollars a month with five thousand down for five years. Um, plus my uh, my trade in, I, I I traded in a 2001 Eddie Bauer Expedition. No, sorry, 2002 Eddie Bauer Ford Expedition because I was selling uh, cars um, when I took a break from from selling real estate at at, at the very start. I was selling cars. Um, and I bought a Ford at my dealership because I got what was called a D plan, which is the employee discount type of a price. And uh, yeah, I got a sick Eddie Bauer Expedition. It was so, so pretty. It had all the TVs in it back when like that was like kind of new and the cool thing. All the TVs, wearing velour outfits all the time, wearing like my Rolex and Breitling watches. Dude, I was pimping it, man. I was pimping it. I was probably wearing like twenty, thirty thousand dollars worth of jewelry every day, paid for. Like, like not like I put it on a credit card. <laughs> you know, I was a young man balling it. I was killing it, man. I was killing it. But anyway, so I'm gonna shut this off. Or actually, no. You know what? We'll keep it on for a moment. We shall keep it on for a moment. Maybe not. Let me pass this guy first. Right, just pass that guy. So I'm going a little bit fast here. We're slowing back down, but I had to pass. I just uh, can't can't deal with inconsiderate people like that. Oh my gosh, that view is unbelievable. It is so clear today and just so pretty. I gotta roll down the windows, unfortunately, because it's gonna give me a better picture of everything. Oh, and I'm getting a bunch of snow in the car. That's not good. That fell out. Fell, fell in from the window. All right, let's see it. Okay, so we're turning into Baldwin. Look at that. Look at these. So these clouds roll in up here and then they just kind of fall apart. Right right there, just fall apart. All the snow falls over there. And you'll see there's hardly anything over here, see? This is Baldwin, guys. This is the Big Bear Snow Rule. And I, I coined that term, which is kind of cool. That's really gorgeous out there. Wow, so pretty today. All right, so, yeah, as you guys can see, there's just hardly any snow over here. Last night, it looked like a lot more, right? Because everything was coated, it was freezing out. But once the temps got right above freezing, you, you can see it, stuff just came apart. All right. One of my best friends lives down this next street, Goldenrod. I'm telling you, man, his view, he lives right on the lake, right, right at the front. And that's his view every morning when he wakes up. It's unbelievable. They are so fortunate. Just spectacular. And look, there's just no snow over here. <laughs> the snow rule, guys. See, I'm not lying. I'm telling you the truth. Just what happened, man. Just what happens. So anyway, after this uh, this little short clip, then what I need to do is uh, pa uh, paste these together, and then uh, we'll be we'll be good. It's gonna take a while for it to upload, but hopefully you'll be stoked.
I guess it would make sense if I went to the other side of town, right? To like see what's going on there. But you can tell what's going on there and I have to work right now. So unfortunately, I can't get over there, but you can tell it's getting a little rain or snow over there where it always does when we have storms. back on the thing for a minute. Okay, actually I want you guys to see over here there's like no snow over there. Not a Alright, peace out guys. This is gonna be it. I just wanted you guys to see that over here. Just like I always tell you guys, there's nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing really. After this next delivery, I may have to go to the other side of town. Oh no, town's too town's too fucking crazy. Oh damn it, I cussed. Town's too freaking crazy right now, so I'm not gonna be able to do it um, at the moment. But I will, I will. Peace out guys. <laughs>